Hi fishes, welcome back to my channel and today I will be doing the review that we all been waiting for, what I've been waiting for, what you've been waiting for, The Queen, Laguna Blue. Let's dive right in. As you know, with my Monster High series of reviews, I've been trying to um, correspond with the character. So today it is Laguna Blue. Um, I made these little ears out of crab foam. I have the little little pins. Um, I added some blonde in my hair. Um, I have this like watercolor um, top on. I do have some pink um, swim bottoms on. So, you know, I'm all decked out. So, you know, it's just... I feel like I look bomb. I mean, this is probably like the, this is so creative. Obviously, um, I didn't cut the ears right, but for the most part, from a front view, we all know it looks good. Oh, let me stop turning to the side. So for those of you who don't know, Laguna Blue is my favorite Monster High character. She was also my very first doll that I had got when Monster High had came out. Um, so, you know, I've loved her ever since. So whenever I heard that, you know, we was getting a reboot, I knew that Laguna was not going to fail me because, I mean, she's she's a sea monster. It's really hard to mess that up. And so because I loved everything about the sea down to, you know, mermaids and stuff, it's like she was everything that I needed at Monster High. And so with that being said, when I heard that, you know, she was going to have a more like mermaid-like fashion and she was this and that. And I was just like, everybody finna be mad. But personally, me, me and my ghouls, we gonna eat it up. But enough of the chit chat. Let's go ahead and get into this gorgeous gal. Because it's like, this is why y'all here. So let's go ahead and jump to this review. Look at Laguna in the box. She looks amazing. Giving very much fish, serving fish. Here she is with her friends. There's Claudine. Laguna herself and Frankie and there's Neptuna we have Laguna's name displayed here in an ombre from pink to blue it has little fins on the L and the A and her new sign is a heart with fins on it and scales these are four and up because they are targeted for kids um, there's a closer look at Neptuna in the box she looks so cute and here's all her accessories that we will be taking a look at in just a second. A closer look at the back of the box. We have our full picture of Laguna. Obviously, this one is not the one um, that was in the final product because you can see she has on this rainbow jacket with these jean shorts and fishnet tights. Uh, and her shoes are different. Um, but here's a closer look at the others and how good they look. Once again, I hope we get Cleo in this outfit because it is superior. Monster facts, monster types, splash-tastic sea monster, um, monster must-haves, a shell phone, and kelp Chris, and monster pet, obviously, the fishiest net the detailing on the side of the box. As you can see here, we have a heart with um, the scales and the fins on it. We have some sunglasses here that have little waves on it and little scales. Then we have some seahorses and a shell phone. And then we have a little seashell heart and we have some bubbles. We have a clamshell with the Monster High Skullette in the middle. And then we have a little potion with a seahorse in it. Then we have another seashell, some bubbles, and Laguna's shoes. Our first look at Laguna out of the box. And all I have to say is I cannot stop looking at her. She is absolutely stunning with her freaking shoes and her fins. And it's just like, she is definitely serving everything I feel like we needed. Anybody who says that she didn't serve, you know, they're, they're just lying. Things first, we're gonna take a look at her face. As you can see, this is a totally new sculpt with her new fish ears. Like, look at that. She, she is just so freaking adorable. So as you can see on the side, we do have a deep blue that is buffed out with a lighter blue. And it, it does go to the crease right here. And then we have all these beautiful freckles and two different shades of blue. We have a light blue, then we have a dark blue closer to the eye. As you can see, she does now have turquoise brows because if you didn't know in the original, they gave her purple brows for some odd reason. 
um, knowing her hair was blonde, but that's a whole nother story. Let's have these brown and green expressive eyes. They look so freaking adorable. Like brown eyes suit Laguna so well, but moving on down to her lips, we do have this pretty pink orange color and it makes her lips look so plump. It is adorable. Like her side profile is, it's everything. But as you can see, we do have a fishbone earring on this side and then a blue pearl on this side. And it is definitely giving very much Laguna Blue. As we make our way down, Laguna is wearing this two-tone pink hoodie. Right here, it is like a hot pink with a black um, skeleton seahorse and bubbles here and there. And then we do have this lighter, more muted, I wanna say pink, um, that is like a mesh cuff. Um, it is definitely cute and it does have a hood in the back which we will take a look at whenever I show it separately. But she does have this monster fanny pack on that has these scale details. And now we have my favorite part, which is her shorts. They are, um, they do have all these colors. They give off like a watercolor vibe. And she has these little ruffles that mimic fins. So honestly, I, I have to give them props because this outfit looks so much better than the outfit that was seen on the back of the box. So we have Laguna's Sweet Kicks. As you can see, they say monster on them and they do have a fin on it that goes all the way up. They are pink and blue and it just follows all the way around. It gives like almost like a wave effect in my opinion. And I just think that these shoes, they fit very much Monster High standard. It's giving the Monster High shoe core. So, I mean, they did a great job. Laguna does have cyan, as you can see. We do have a couple colors going on. We have this um, lilac color, then we have turquoise here. Um, we have our blonde in the back and same colors on the back. Overall, I think she looks absolutely adorable. If her hair does look a bit matted, it's because she has box hair, because she has the same exact hair as the Creep Production Laguna. Let's go ahead and go wash the queen's hair. <laughs> very cute you know it is giving length here is a closer look at laguna's jacket it is a soft almost like stretchy like material um we are getting all these different cuffs they could have easily printed all this on but they decided to give us that form of quality honestly um we got the mesh sleeves with the black stripe down the middle um and here is a closer look at her hood it is blue and it has these scale detailings on it and they did carry the same effect from her original doll adding ears, which we will take a look at, but um, her jacket Velcro's in the back and goes all the way around, as you can see. Um, honestly, I she's, she's giving very much queen vibes. 
a look at her with her hoodie on um obviously it does this little bump it at the top due to um, me having mine's hair back in her ponytail but as you can see it does mimic her original hoodie with the little fish ears on the side y'all cannot tell me that she does not look cute as hell right here like let's be for real right now she looks so freaking cute and you know just just overall no complaints here is a full look at laguna's shorts without her top on they are high-waisted um they are watercolor pattern and as you can see i don't know if you guys can tell but there's these like white lines here and there that is the reflection of the water whenever there's light hitting it um, but we do have these ruffles on the side that are to mimic fins. Um, it does go all the way around and Velcro's in the back. So overall, um, chef's kiss, the shorts definitely do it. Um, I did take her fanny pack off because I'm going to show you guys everything um, separately. So let's go ahead and take a look at her accessories. A closer look at Laguna's bag. As you can see, it is um, that seashell that we've seen on the side of the box with the um, spiderweb detailing. It does have these little drips on it. And as I turn this around, you can see that um, they do give us these straps to put on so Laguna can wear her bag. Um, I don't know if I'll display her in this, but um, it does actually open so we can put our stuff in there. Y'all, please do not mind my nails. I have not went and got them done or any of that. So, you know, let's keep it cute. Here we have Laguna's bathing suit. This is her second um, accessory. It comes on this cute little monster high hanger. Here's a closer look at that. But as you can see, the bathing suit is turquoise with some black scale detailing and then this coral um, ruffle here and there. Um, it does Velcro in the back. I will try this on her when we go to the um, restyling part of this video. But I think that this is cute for the most part. I don't feel like it fits the new Laguna. Um, the new Laguna's aesthetic, especially because she has all these like, you know, new iridescent colors. And so there is a look at her in her bathing suit. Um, as I mentioned, I personally wouldn't have picked these colors. Now that I'm looking at it on her, it does not look bad. It's very fitted. It's very cute. Um, I still personally wouldn't put this on her because it doesn't really match what I envision her wearing um, bathing suit wise because the simple fact is we have some turquoise and some black and it just doesn't really look like those colors fit this doll's aesthetic especially with her going down the more um iridescent and mermaid like color vibe so honestly i'm gonna have to pass on the bathing suit so y'all this is my this is my very first time seeing this on this box because i didn't watch anybody's review over the g3 laguna because i wanted to open her and review her and experience it all at once and have you guys get everything that i'm giving this this goldfish idea with putting Neptuna on it is so freaking cute. I know y'all see her there. Like, hello. And then as you can see on the side, we do have the nutrition facts um, and like the little piranha goldfish on the side of the box as well. And I'm just so freaking here for this right now that I can't even express in words. This is just so freaking creative monster high you honestly deserve a chef's fucking kiss next item we have here is laguna's water bottle aka i'm gonna say in a hydro flask um it is blue and it has all these little molded on um circles here it is very detailed and then as you can see we have a mermaid's tail right here uh as like the hold um i'm honestly so freaking here for this because the simple fact is this is everything that I feel like we needed. Laguna gives so many mermaid vibes that it's so freaking unreal that I'm experiencing this. I'm going to honestly say it. I feel like Generation 3 is better than G1. Y'all can argue with the wall because she is she's definitely giving. Here are Laguna's um, sunglasses. As you can see, they are a blue transparent material with um, molded on scale detailing with little fins on the side. Um, I feel like these are so cute. So here's our first look at Laguna's um, kelp crisp chips. Um, as you can see, we have a little octopus 
and a um, skeleton fish on the front. It is made of a hard um, plastic. She can't actually hold this unless you um, possibly rubber band it to her hand. But on the back, as you can see, um, they do have the nutrition facts. And there's that same octopus and that same fish skeleton down here at the bottom. Um, I'm going to try to get it as close as possible. You obviously can't really read it, but it's the fact that they added nutrition facts. So I think that this generation is very much giving. Here's a closer look at Laguna's Monster Fanny Pack. It is a blue with um, white painted tea and then we have this scale pattern detailing with a bite mark taken out of it and it does close in the back um i'm not sure if i'll display her with this necessarily or at least my restyle version i won't display with this but i will definitely keep one in box so we have the absolute queen miss neptuna as y'all can see she has all these new fins um, I know people were confusing her little fins on top for ears, but those are just unpainted fins. Um, she looks so freaking good that y'all, I cannot, I can't breathe. I cannot, I can't physically move. She is definitely giving, um, here's a closer look. She has all these diamond scales, um, hers at the bottom of her tail. So here's a closer look at the ghouls side by side. From what I can see, they do look um, to be the same height. Um, obviously, Laguna's fins are still pointed the wrong way. They're not supposed to be pointed up. They're supposed to be pointed downwards like um, the G3 Lagunas. But for the most part, I can definitely say that I love how different they look. I know people would um, are upset that her skin isn't blue, but... I'm not mad at it because the simple fact is it's it's not meant to be the same. Of course they could have kept it the same, but what's the what's the fun in that? I love Laguna's new design, especially with the new storyline, which I will talk about um whenever I share my final thoughts, just for some people who don't understand why she's pink. Um but yeah, for the most part, as you can see, the proportions are obviously different. This Laguna is a bit thicker because she has a more um humanized uh, body proportion than this one as you can see the difference in the legs and the thighs um obviously this laguna does not have her iconic web fingers which i hope we do end up getting in this one because i think that that's something that is very fish-like especially with her having bigger ears that are very predominant and you can see um the difference in the character um for the most part i think that the hair on both dolls is great um and I just think that they look so freaking cute. I will forever love both versions of Laguna. There's no losing, honestly. Here's a closer look at Laguna's new body. Um, she does still have her arm fins on both sides. And they did add this cool scale pattern on her skin to give her that more sea monster-like um, effect. And she does still have the new panty mold with the spider webs. Um, she does move at the chest, shoulder, elbow, and wrist. And these dolls, since they are obviously newer, but since their material is more thicker, they hold poses absolutely amazing. Um, and she is still articulated at the knee. And here are her legs. They are meant to give off that here, I mean, that mermaid-like and water-like feeling. Um, I want to mention that I did watch um, Zombie X-Corn's video over Torla, and he did show that um, with the littlest bit of movement, you can scratch off Torlai's, um leg stripes. Same thing goes for this one. I was moving her a little bit and taking off her pants and you can see that that effect is already scratching off. Um, and I know that it's because they didn't seal them, but um, honestly, I'm not mad about it. It's just a very minor um, thing that I hope, um, you know, Mattel picks up on because um, the same thing happened to my invisibility because I know that he has the same effect that this um, Laguna has. Let's go ahead and try on um, Laguna's original outfit. And here we have, um, obviously she could not fit um, her original outfit. I tried. Um, I could not get um, the tights part of it up this thigh because that's how much bigger it is. But I was able to pair her original shorts with her original top. The original Laguna's necklace fits cutely. The earrings do not fit because the holes are bigger. But for the most part, this is a really cute look. Like, very much giving, honestly. Um, I, I really, 
I really can't complain. This is this is so freaking cute. But let's go ahead and move on to my personal favorite. And y'all going to see why. Let's go ahead and do our little spin. Here she is in her Scaras dress. I think that this complements her skin tone so well that it's like, it's kind of crazy. Um, but I'm pretty sure I'll end up displaying her in this dress, even though I kind of um, took it from the other one. But um, for the most part, I think she ate. And this version of Laguna deserves the world, honestly, because she's been through so much hate with y'all being racist to her and then you know just overall just judging her it's just like she deserves the absolute world look at just ugh, that face anyways let's go ahead and throw her hoodie over it so we can see what it would look like and if it gives that sporty girl vibe and here she is with her hoodie on it is definitely giving very much cute um, it fits her very nicely. It's not very snug or anything. Um, the seams aren't busting out the back like whenever they put the other clothes on the dolls. Um, it fits her very nicely and she looks so freaking cute. But let's go ahead and just try her in the um, top that goes over this one. And then I think we will move on to my final reviews and then the comparison between um, the Neptunas. So let's go ahead and do that. And here she is. It is a bit see-through, but it's definitely cute. Um, I don't know how I necessarily feel about it because the pink clashes with her skin a little bit too much for my liking. But for the most part, um, she definitely, she definitely is so cute in anything that you um, honestly put her in. There's, there's no way to make her look ugly. So um, let's go ahead and swipe over to um the queen neptuna for a comparison bye as you can see this neptuna is more of like a almost warm salmon pink with a hot pink on top and then this one is like more of a hot pink baby pink mix um with these um almost clear um pink brushed um fins um i I kind of like this one's design more box wise, but I like the execution of this Neptuna because she looks exactly like her um, artwork and what she was intended to look like. Um, all Even though the, this Neptuna is absolutely adorable and um, you can tell that she's a fish. I've seen people saying that she looked like a bear, but that's just because of her fins up here and the way that her tail is positioned. Um, overall, I still think that she's absolutely adorable. Um, obviously here they are side by side. You can see that there is a big difference, uh, in how, you know, different their designs are. This Neptuna is a bit more chubbier than this one. This one has more teeth than this one. This one has a more edgier design versus this one. So overall, um, I think they look cute, but, um, in the battle of winning, which one is better in my opinion? I'm going to have a gift it to Generation 1 just because of the design choice and how accurate it was to um, her artwork. We look at Laguna's shell phone. As you can see, um, we have the original Laguna's um, skullet, um in the inside and then her phone case. And um, it is obviously in the design of a shell. And then on the back, um, she's the only one that I think I've seen that has the like the little hole at least that I've paid attention to. But as you can see, we have almost the same design as her backpack with the shell with the um, spiderweb design going up. And then we have a little starfish here. Um, here is a look at Laguna in her glasses. Um, very cute, very much fish. Um, but as you guys know, it's time for my final thoughts. So let's go. So I lost my ears because if y'all didn't know, today we got our first look at Miss Halle Bailey as Ariel. And I, let's just say I'm living. This is everything that I needed. It's, you know, I've had red locks because of Ariel. Like everything that I do, like the bedspread, giving ocean vibes, the mermaid in the back, everything is it's because of Ariel. I am inspired by the sea because of Ariel. So now that I'm able to see that type of representation, seeing a black Ariel, let's go ahead and break this down. Laguna is pink because her mom is a sea nymph 
and she still has the transparent blue legs and the overall fishy aesthetic because her dad is a sea monster put two and two together you get a pink laguna blue very simple very easy of course they could have kept her blue but what's the fun in that honestly i love this version of laguna because you know she's giving very much queen and it's just like you can't really you can complain obviously do do whatever you feel free to but honestly i'm not gonna i'm not gonna care because it's like still laguna whether y'all like it or not it's still laguna you can express your opinion do all that but it doesn't change the fact that officially she's laguna Honestly, since this video is inspired by Laguna and it is all about Laguna, I'm going to go ahead and break down the fact that the Monster High community has disappointed me and I'm pretty sure it's disappointed others due to the fact that some of you decided since y'all hate this new Laguna, y'all were going to go harass the voice actor of Laguna, aka Valeria. That's it's not right. It's, it's bullying. Um, for her to have to go on her story and express her disappointment because she's just voicing a character because of y'all having such a nostalgic feeling that y'all feel like y'all can go and treat people like crap it's it's disappointing y'all are all doing this over a doll over a fictional character one that we haven't even seen yet for us to have this new interpretation of laguna and y'all already judging it based off of a look kind of stupid i've seen so many of y'all change y'all's mind just like i said y'all would and then i've seen others that are saying such hateful things still honestly that just shows a two different levels of maturity and it's time to grow up these are fictional characters these these monster high characters did not shape your life they didn't the message of monster high is what shaped your life to be unique, be yourself, be a monster. And y'all are doing the complete opposite. Y'all are being like real monsters, you know. Arr, and it's, it's not giving. It's, it's not giving at all. We need to cut it out. Then I seen a bunch of y'all were upset because she's Latina now. That's a bad thing. I'm at a loss for words because y'all are mad because she's Latina. Y'all do know that these are two different versions of Laguna. The 2010 will always be Australian. She will always be from the Great Scarier Reef. That does not have to carry on to this new generation. It's a reboot, not a revival. As I've mentioned in all my other videos, two different things. Her being Latina is not an issue. It's get over your nostalgic feeling for um, the original Monster High because it's it's giving very much racism, honestly. And it's not cute, it's not funny. Just like how y'all be fat shaming Draculaura. But we've already talked about that and it's time to move past that because that just shows the ugly in everybody. You are mad over cartoon characters at the end of the day. It's time to pick it up and go. But honestly, my thoughts on the doll, um, I love her. I love her articulation. Um, as I've mentioned, I love the new articulation, can't get over it. Um, overall, I love her new design. No complaints there. Um, I love that this is her core doll. Um, the design is very much giving. So I have no complaints, honestly. Um, her middle part ate down after I washed it. So that ends today's review slash chit chat. Um, if you liked this video, like, comment, share, and subscribe. All are appreciated. Um, and, you know, stay fantastic ghouls and monsters and non-boonaries. Um, bye, monsters. Like you, love me, love